Aloha, my beautiful ones. My name is Krista Ralaxmidet and coming to you from beautiful Florida. And I call myself an inner alchemist and holistic wellness coach. And this year I will start to do more videos on regular basis and I'll figure out a different format and different like connections, how this all will come together. But one of the things I want to start to do is monthly uh, overviews of the energies and suggestions, what you can focus on every month. Uh, so this one will be the first one in the series about the January 2024. If you're not familiar with my work, I would recommend you to uh, go also and check out some uh, previous videos. And uh, there is lots of social media also on Facebook as well, um, Instagram. And on Facebook, I also do longer posts where I give lots of inspiration and motivation on a regular basis as well. So um, I would recommend you to also subscribe to this channel because you are going to get a lot of value in the coming months and probably also years. And very soon, I'm also going to restart my um, beautiful podcast in a little different format. So you will hear about that as well. And this year, we will also start uh, my beautiful lifestyle club, uh, which we already have had happening in Estonia, where I'm from, for quite a while with great success. So lots of exciting stuff happening. So as I'm also a numerologist, I will always look into the numbers of the month. And then I may also pull some cards or maybe even some shows according to you know, uh, how the guidance is. And some of the material I may just, um, you know, uh, channel or, you know, share with you as it comes up. So I will also do a separate video about my awakening story. So you can go and find that as well, which will share my story, how I actually came to this um, whole experience of the spiritual world. And I've been doing this um, at the moment of the recording of the video over 25 years. So it has been quite a journey. So welcome to this episode and let's see what January 2024 has in store. So as you know, 2024 as a number together is eight. But before we go there, let me take each number of the year kind of out and separate and uh, tell you what those mean. In my numerology, I use new time numerology, which is connected also to new time dimensions and elements. So it may be a little different than what you have heard uh, prior. So just have an open mind and see maybe it also resonates with you. So we have two. So two in general is a representative of the masculine and feminine balance coming together. And it's also standing on Mother Earth with your two feet, like fully rooted, fully here and now. And this is really because we have 2024, we have two twos here. It's really calling forth like, hey, you guys need to really work on embodiment this year in general, but also to really root yourself into the Mother Earth. Don't be just like, you know, someone who is passing by uh, a traveler, so to say, really, you know, take responsibility that this year, you know, you are here to really um, experience these things, uh, root yourself down. And um, this is one of the first things which is creating that beautiful balance uh, between the masculine and feminine as well. So talking about the masculine and feminine, as I also work a lot with the inner world and uh, inner family archetypes, one of the things um, I can tell you, the masculine and feminine need to be healed. And one of the ways you can heal it is through your archetypes. Archetypes are like reaching and helping you to get to the deeper layers and levels of your inner self or selves. And Many of us have that actually rooted in our relationship with our mother and our father. It doesn't matter whether they are dead or alive. Um, if you had like a biological or non-biological, the biological parents you have are very important in that uh, case to really do a deeper healing 
and processing uh, on that matter. In the future, if there is interest and you guys can also comment below this video, would you like to have a little extra information how to do that, then uh, put it here and uh, I may record it in the future. So in my case, I have had a very wounded childhood with um, a father and mother who both were alcoholics. I lost um, pretty much contact with my mom when I was six years old, when my parents actually um, divorced and I stayed with my dad and his mom, my grandmother, for the rest of the time until I became 18 years old and then I left home. So I have used over, um, I would say, probably 20 years consciously on healing these like, you know, uh, source code um, elements. Because when we came here into this uh, body, we actually decided that these particular parents were exactly what we needed divinely to do and become who we are. And now, as I look back at my life, I totally understand it. So in your case too, if your masculine and feminine are out of whack, out of balance, or are not healed, you can't fully manifest this year because this year is number eight, which is the massive manifestation year. Manifestation only happens when we have the masculine and feminine energies, you know, uh, totally balanced and co-creating with each other. When you are fighting with those energies or they are not working with each other, what happens is you have resistance there when you have resistance you can't really co-create because one energy is not working with the other and is protecting against the other so it's not possible to manifest and as i said we have two twos here uh, this year so uh, you have to look into those matters and um, you know see how you can deeply uh, work with those you know and then we have zero in the middle. Zero is the jackpot number of the new time. It is the number of their inner divine feminine, which means that it is connection to um, your root uh, uh, divine feminine energy in this lifetime, plus all the divine uh, connections through your mom, through your dad, till the beginning of the time. It's, uh, it's a really powerful number. The zero is also reminding us that we need to have that zero point balance point in our lives um, all the time balanced, meaning that, you know, we need to have this like kind of wind down time, energy and um, whatever the case is, because this is one of the ways we can recharge and how your inner woman can recharge, because this is the only way she is able to receive the messages from the invisible world. If we are always busy and always running like crazy and never really recharging and fully like rejuvenating ourselves and relaxing, then um, we can't really fully receive what our inner divine feminine has to say. And then she can't rejuvenate. So she can't fully do what she's here to do, you know. And then we have number four. Number four in the new energy is um, a creation energy. It's a creativity energy. It's also the power energy, and it is also a business energy. So if you have been thinking about creating your own business, maybe this year is the year. But also don't do it just like kind of, you know, um, you know, as a hippie, so to say. Um, you need to have systems and structures in place. Don't just quit your job and then just jump like, oh, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, because sometimes it may take quite a while to get it going, you know. So have that puffer of, you know, your job, if you have that uh, regular paycheck, and then from there, step by step, you can build it um, in order to you know, uh, create that. And many people think like, wow, I want to become an entrepreneur so I can be my own boss and, you know, stop working all these hours. If you really want to get your business going, I'll just tell you from my experience over 20 years doing business in different countries that um, it can actually mean that you ne may need to work more than eight hours a day and sometimes most weekends as well 
of course, depends on your resources and possibilities. If you have lots of resources, you can outsource all of the or most of the uh, different tasks you need to do to uh, create your business. So it all depends. But most of us, when we start business, we don't have that money. So we need to really do those things step by step, you know. So now... Uh, all together, we come to number eight. And number eight is the number of the inner divine feminine. It is the number of the air element. And it is also coming to our life. Um, eight dimension, in, in a way, is represented by eight uh, as a number as well, which is like after you have done seven, which was last year. So last year was all about building you know, foundations, structures and systems. So both uh, on your money and as well on your time. If you didn't do that correctly, you have to do that now first part of this year because otherwise your abundance has nowhere to come. There is no container. There is no foundation for it to land. And if um, you really want to create a big stuff or big, you know, dreams this year, this is the only way because we are now all in the new energy, you can't really just start to and continue doing things, you know, um, in the old way. So that's why it's very important. So go through your papers, go through everything and anything you haven't done, which you know you need to do, whether it's paperwork, your will, your uh, money, uh, you know, uh, management, your time management, whatever the case is, and create proper systems and structure we are in the beginning of January. By the time when I'm recording this, it's not too late to set your year up properly. Now, this week, it's actually the best time um, to do that. So, so do that so that that foundation is there. And then also you have to create a really uh, solid container for your abundance. Abundance can mean not only money, but it's like, you know, relationships, your socializing, you know, adventures, like different things you want to do. Write those down and see what are the steps you need to take to make those things happen. So when we come to the number eight energy, number eight energy is an energy which I have experienced in the new energy and many of my clients um, and friends and family as well. This is the energy where you come to this platform, you will be in a position that anything or everything in your life or also anyone who is not supposed to be there will be now uh, transformed and transitioned into the next uh, thing or next phase. So let's say you have been doing the work you have been hating for a while. So a new opportunity for a new job may come up or this job will actually fire you so that you would look or would start that enterprise of yours. So my suggestion is if you want to avoid like sudden surprises, like, you know, uh, being fired is always have something else going on. The new energy abundance is created from different resources, which are producing abundance in all forms at all times. It's not just one thing producing us abundance. It's very, very important to understand. It's multidimensional, you know. So, and um, then what is also important is that any relationships with needs to change, whether it's like divorce or letting go, or maybe even some friendships which uh, have been very like negative and not supporting you, you have to end this and move on. Because if you don't, what will happen? There's something, you know, traumatic or challenging will happen, which will never be very comfortable. So that's like the energy of the eight in general as well. Also, if you need like something bigger, like 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 a jump up or like, you know, a trigger to the next level, then something as crazy as moving to another town or even crazy moving to another, um, you know, country or another continent may happen. Or in case you need to advance, you need um, to do that then maybe someone in your family needs to do that in order to get to that next level. So 
the uh, air element is creating more air between people, places, opportunities, and so on. And there is no point in like, you know, fighting it or resisting it because when it needs to happen, it needs to happen. I remember one of the years um, in my life when eight was happening as, as um, a constant kind of like a number of numerology of that particular year. And what happened that year was like crazy. So I was in a big penthouse uh, uh, kind of like apartment in the center of uh, uh, Tallinn in Estonia. I had been there two years, uh, done lots of amazing uh, retreats and workshops and all kinds of stuff for uh, people for a very long time. And people really also enjoyed it. But then it just showed that I can't continue doing that. It's not sustainable this way anymore. And it also wasn't my dream anymore. After I came back from Hawaii three months in the tropics and then into the cold 60 degrees uh, temperature difference, I understood this is not my dream anymore. I would rather live in a, you know, simple shack in Hawaii than in here paying like 3,000, 4,000 euros per month and being all like cooped in into this, um, you know, room and apartment. It was beautiful. Um, you know, it, it had the beautiful, the most beautiful view in Tallinn to the, you know, old town, to the sea, uh, the city in general, but it just wasn't what I needed anymore. So I had to move. Um, I also actually, uh, you know, uh, sold my car because I knew I had to move also, I had to go and do some traveling. So I actually completely, um, you know, jumped off and uh, left Estonia and actually entered a phase where I was traveling seven years. I traveled the world seven years, can you imagine? So this is the energy of the eight. And then also in my professional work, which I thought like something I would do like till the end of my days was taken away. One part was taken away because it wasn't part of my life mission. Because after eight, we go into the number nine, which is all about, um, you know, life mission activated on the second layer level in the fire element in the new energy. And actually, I'm getting now into the nine because when we put together 2024 plus the number one of the January, we get to the number nine. So one way, what this eight is doing is like it's uplifting us. It's like shaking us. It's um, helping us to move to that next level. And usually it's a big jump. So when we kind of look at how the dimensions are working in the new energy, they're working like spirally. They go um, five, six, seven, eight, and then they jump up nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So it kind of goes in those loops. So now in order to jump from eight to nine, anything, everything, uh, everyone who is not supporting your next level, will be taken away if you already have not done the pre-work. And in that pre-work, your inner woman will help you really give you the guidance how to do that yourself. And believe me, doing it yourself will be always much easier, much better, and uh, more comfortable than uh, just waiting till the last minute and then let it to kind of explode or uh, other people kind of initiate that change. So uh, be smart and uh, do it yourself. So now going to number nine, the number of the uh, month of January. So nine is now activating your life mission to the next level. So in the new energy, I see life mission consisting of life purposes. Life purposes can be different things you do, different ways your talent, skills, knowledge is expressing herself. Like right now I'm doing this video because um, I love to do videos and I have also trained myself, actually also professionally um, up to master's degree to do documentaries. So this is in my blood. This is something I love to do. I have the knowledge. I have the know-how, how to do it. I love to do it. 
And um, another way of doing it is also podcasting. I love to, you know, talk to people, uh, you know, inspire others and motivate others to think and, you know, uh, do things differently. Then I like to write. So I'm in a process of publishing my books, you know, so um, and then I like to do energy work. I like to do water therapy work. I like to do retreat facilitation um, globally. So there are so many life purposes which create my life mission. And life mission, when we get to that second round, is going usually to prepare us to that global level again. And uh, global means like on the bigger scale so that it's not just kind of doing your little thing there. It's sharing, it's connecting to other people, it's getting all these like things going on the bigger scale. And in order for that to happen, you have to burn away everything also which is not supporting that. So when you look at your life mission right now, how much of like your daily activities are you doing and being in that energy of, wow, I love to do this. I, I love to get paid for this, you know, the whole thing. So, and then, um, you know, see um, how that goes and um, increase the number of hours you can actually spend with, uh, you know, doing what you love and figure out how to package it in such a way that other people will also, you know, um, enjoy it and get benefit from it. Because more you do that, this is your, you know, um, a formula for your abundance and uh, ad additional uh, money as well. Nine is also the number which is um, activating a next layer of you or your being, which you don't even know maybe existed till this time. There will be maybe presented some uh, opportunities or possibilities or circumstances which will give you some ideas uh, how to do something new. And first, maybe when it comes to you and knocks on your door, you're like, what the heck? I have no idea how to do that. But then when you look into it, it's like, oh, yeah, I do, actually. So that was the case, like in my case, when I found my beautiful husband in Mexico someone afterwards knocked on my door and said, hey, Crystal, can you teach me how you did that? I want to find my king as well. At the moment, that moment, I was like, I don't know. Uh, how did I do it? Okay, so I sat down, went back in time and wrote down step-by-step -step process, which turned into a formula, which I turned into an online program, which I did for years uh, with groups so that um, they could all, you know, get to that next level um, and uh, also attract uh, their new life or their new king or queen, you know, which many have. So um, so that's um, also like, you know, invitation to be open for these things to come into your life because um, you may not even know it. It has been there kind of like sleeping and then it just comes, knocks, and then um, it is your way to do it. Um, you have to just go uh, deeper with it. So uh, this is like a very short like overview. So now I can uh, just give you another uh, idea how we can work with numerology also here um, in general also for this year with number eight uh, connected to our life path number. So my life path number is eight. And now this year is eight. So this means it's a double eight for me, which means that everything eight represents. So it will do some deeper cleansing for sure. So now I can already prevent it and see like, okay, how can I help that deeper cleanse happen uh, already? And how to make it most comfortable I can. And then also see, you know, where else in my life I need more air, where else I can restructure, maybe even go back into the number seven, kind of see, is there anything else I can do better to create a better foundation for this? Uh, because now two eights is a massive abundance, like double abundance, you know. And in my case, I'm also a dragon. As you know, the Chinese, um, uh, you know, year 
is uh, also the wood dragon. So it's a triple, you know, activation for me. So dragon is a representation also of matriarchy. And that means that that feminine energy, where we are coming from, and to build on that with that, co-create with that is amplified tenfold, if not even more. So now when I put eight and eight together, it's 16, which is seven together, which is actually exactly what I said. It is a reminder of me uh, and for me, like what else in your earth element uh, needs to change so that you can carry and create more bigger um, container for your abundance, which is coming your way. So this is one of the ways you can also work with numerology yourself. Or if you would like me to do your numerology for the year of 2024, we can also do that. So you can uh, just contact me um, down below. So to finalize this beautiful um, thing here, I'll also share three things which are very inspiring. So uh, Shen Tarot card, integration, a very beautiful card, which as you see, brings together all of the elements. And we have, and this is purple, which is representing the spirit energy. And we have 14 here, which is number five together. And it is the transformation. The transformation is happening as you see the darkness and the light, the balance of the masculine and feminine. You have all these beautiful beings here. You have the moon as the centerpiece, which is the feminine. And you also have the serpent here uh, who is eating its tail coming like full circle. So all of these elements, the crystal, the, the animals are here to help us. The invisible world is here to help us to integrate everything and take it to the next level. So it's up to us that, okay, let's do it. Let's, um, you know, uh, change it and let's help everything what is here to support us to also integrate on a deeper level. And this card is also representing all the elements. So uh, fire, water, earth, and air, which are the main elements when you want to manifest in the new time, you can't go with or without them. And in the future, I'll probably do also um, each uh, element, a separate video, so you can check them out as well. So, a very powerful, um, you know, goddess energy, uh, understanding that, you know, uh, darkness is where, you know, things are sometimes also born and uh, there's no point on, you know, really also resisting it. It's the polarity. We are living on a planet with polarity. So um, it's just better to uh, just dive in and uh, integrate it and accept it as it is. So now I also have my magic bag with the questions. So I'll also take uh, one question. And the question is 82, so eight and two, which we have been talking about. I like how every time I do this, it just wraps everything up, you know, beautifully, which together is 10, which is that number of uh, the chatbot again. And one in 10 is standing in your power, standing in your uh, authenticity, in your independence, and really, you know, setting boundaries as well. So the question is, if you know that all of our lives, we try to move away pain and towards the pleasure, what choices do you need to make more of to head more towards pleasures? And that's a really powerful question. So um, if you know that all of our lives, we try to move away from pain and towards the pleasure, what choices do you need to make more of to head more towards pleasure? So whether it is your overweight, whether it is your, you know, um, I don't know, bad habits, um, whatever the case is, if you start to do those conscious choices, then things will definitely probably also move more towards uh, the pleasures. So, and what's a really good way to work with questions is to ask this question uh, during the month of January. And as you do that, what happens is um, this will really help you to activate pleasure energy more in your life 
and also bring pleasure into your life. So whatever way that uh, is for you. So a good question. And then we have the crystal card, Moss Agate, uh, which is new beginnings, nature connection, animal alleys, and security. For me, Moss Agate um, is always a very like calming energy, like especially if I'm in an environment or circumstances where there is a lot of like, um, you know, unstable or lots of like um, nasty emotional energy. So when I feel that energy is there, then Moss Agate is a very good balancing uh, crystal to help. And as you see, it says also new beginnings. So for many of you, this month can be a beautiful new beginning. And then, of course, more you do that nature connection, it helps to recharge you, fill you with inspiration and ideas and take you to that next level, you know. Animal alleys, as we already talked about uh, this in this card, you know, you have animals and uh, beautiful birds here as well. So, and then also this one here, you see the moon and the sun. So, which is the sun is the representative of the masculine, moon is the feminine. So the sun is the shining, moon is, you know, uh, recuperating, kind of going into that inner uh, in energy. So the balance of the yin and yang, as you see, is uh, the key as well. And security. Many times people tell me, Crystal, I would like to have financial security. And I'll tell you, financial security is actually an illusion. So uh, all kinds of stuff can happen. It can like disappear tomorrow, like in a split second. So much better uh, instead of looking for financial security is to look like safety and security, like feel really good with yourself and um, you know, becoming the friend with yourself. That security, once you get to that level that you are okay how you are, the way you are, then uh, everything else will actually you know, uh, change from there and that can actually create financial security, so to say, uh, because um, you don't have that frantic, stressful energy, which is always like pushing away energy. So beautiful moss agate. So if you're not familiar with this crystal, look it up, uh, figure it out and uh, let it support your beautiful uh, process this month. So let me know how this video was for you. Was this helpful? Did you get the inspiration? And uh, what other topics would you like me to cover? Put that under um, uh, this video in the comments. And right now, I still have capacity to open up uh, some uh, people for coaching, uh, whether it is just um, a single coaching session or uh, coaching sessions, but um, in regular ways, how I work is I actually like people to join my transformation year, which is the body, mind, spirit uh, coaching program, where we go really deep and really restructure all of those elements and uh, basically put down a new foundation for your body, mind and spirit for the rest of your life. And it's possible also to do each of these programs separately. There are three programs. Um, and then also we can make a customized program for you according to what do you need. So as always, thank you very much for your time. If this was helpful and inspiring, please find at least five people to share it with. And uh, happy new year. Make it the best you can ever in your life uh, with the help of all the numbers on all the magic you carry. Bye. Aloha.